Hello, YouTubers. Figured I'd do this right before I may or may not get this LG uh, new phone that's coming out for Boost. Uh, there are actually a lot more ways you can get service out of your phone, your Samsung uh, Transform Ultra. Uh, I'll use a scenario. Let's say if you're stuck uh, in an area that does not have Wi-Fi. Um, but you don't want to root your phone in order to make it wireless tethering. Your, your alternative is what's called a uh, USB tethering. Uh, basically, it's just a matter of you taking your phone and making a, a typically like a data cord connection from your phone to your computer. There's an app in the app store that's called uh, I believe it's called USB tethering actually easy USB tethering uh, I have this on my phone it took literally I don't know I want to say 10 minutes at the most to install all it requires you is to install a software application on the computer and also on the phone. Why is this good? Again, typically people get in certain areas, you don't get that Wi Fi access you need. Sometimes it's in the airport, train, whatever, uh, and you need, you know, the internet access. It's not the fastest because, again, you're running Boost Mobile. Uh, this is why actually I suggest to use the USB tethering over the wireless because it's Boost Mobile. Let's come on, let's be honest. Boost Mobile doesn't have the fastest service. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you what you need step by step in order to make this happen. So again, the first thing I have to do, uh, if you can see it, you probably can't. Yeah, dang light. But anyway, the app is called Easy Tether. You put this in the Droid uh, Droid Store, you'll typically find this. It's first going to ask you to install the application on your phone. Okay. So for this, I'm going to use this camera. And let's see if we can see it. No, there we go. So again, we're going to go to the Droid Store. Of course, there's a connection. We're well, going to search for easy. I can spell it right. Easy tethering. All right. Now, uh, as you can see, there is a light version which is filled with ads, and then there's the pro which is not filled with ads. It basically, you can do either or. One's free. The other one, I actually bought the pro. It cost you two dollars. It's not that much. Um, so we'll get out of that. I already installed it. And let's see. There we go. Easy tethering. It's basically just going to ask whether you want to use uh, after you install it actually on your phone. Uh, you do get the option right there. You, you want to use UDP pass through. Make sure you have these settings. Uh, here we go. The setup. It's going to ask you, you know, if you have a Windows 7 or an Apple, or if you're using, I believe, Fedora 13. I highly doubt most people use this. Uh, you're typically going to decide between these two most of the time. So uh, you can have the option. Let's say I have Windows 7. So I'm going to hit 7. If I can hit it, did I hit? Okay, and I'm not sure if you can see it all the way, but it says, you know, if you have the, you have the option to basically download it to your phone, or you can do it on the computer. If you do it on the computer, it gives you a link. Okay, it's going to actually open drivers, and it'll take you to this website where you can download the file that you need to put on the computer 
and that way you'll have the software on there. You, you'll basically also have the option, especially for Windows 7 users, you'll have that option of um, installing the 32-bit uh, or the 64-bit. So make sure you're aware of what type of Windows you have installed. Uh, right now, if you're not sure, you can click on the Start menu. Okay. Uh, you want to go to Computer, right-click that, click on Properties. It'll tell you whether system type, it'll tell you whether you have a 64-bit operating system or a 32. I have a, obviously, 64-bit. So we'll close out of that. And once you install the software, I'm going to minimize this for a second. Once you install the software on your computer, let's see if I can find it. I think I shut mine down. There you go. I installed the 64 bit as you see on my computer. What I'm going to do right now it says connection fell, cannot reach the smartphone, yada yada yada. I'm going to do this because I'm on Wi Fi right now. I'm going to shut down my Wi Fi. Okay, just so you know, so I have no internet connection right now. I'm also going to shut down a Wi Fi. on my phone. Okay, so if you need to use your USB, uh, you want to access files from your SD card to your computer. As long as, again, as long as you have the, uh, the wire connection from your phone to your computer, as long as you select uh, wireless and networks, scroll to USB connection, and select the option Axed on connection. So select mode when you when USB cable um, is connected. So that way, as you can see, I have that wire connection to my phone. I'll select USB storage on. Mine is actually already on, and you have the option of turning it on or turning it off. Uh, but back to the tethering. So right now there is no, as you can see on my computer, there is no uh, internet connection. I am going to select Easy Tethering. I want to make sure USB is enabled. Okay. And then I'm going to scroll over. Or actually, I'm going to advance over here. And do, 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 not here. There's the Easy Tethering. I'm not connected as it says. I'm going to right click the icon and select connect to Android. Alright. As you can see, not connected yet, but it's giving it an IP. I think it gives it like a 192 address. We're waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting. Okay. As you can see, now we're connected. Don't believe me? Well, let's go to Firefox. Uh, my page. Okay. And let's go to, I don't know, CNN.com or whatever. Believe it or not, Boost Mobile is pretty fast on the computer. As you can see, CNN pops up. I'm going to tra traverse this uh, camera over to my regular. Okay, so as you can see, I am on CNN.com, all right, and also, let's say if I wanted to do speedtest.net, so you don't believe that I'm on Sprint's connection, yada, 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 I actually am, I had to uh, take out the IP address that was showing, it says Sprint PCS, all right, I'm running the test right now. And again, the speeds aren't that fast, but if you're just using it to browse, it's a pretty good way. So I have download speeds of 0.68. Not bad. And my uploads probably not going to be that good. So it's going to pump out 0.3.
point, sorry, point 13. So it's not that bad. Uh, and it's doable, you know, if you want to go on, uh, like everybody does, uh, facebook.com. Uh, you know, things pop up pretty fast. It's not that slow. And again, as long as you have uh, a good signal, you should be able to uh, to browse pretty fast. So the marquee is uh, two seventy nine ninety nine, and I think again it comes out January twenty third. Wireless web, five megapixel camera. It does have the front facing uh, VGA camera. Um, I'm gonna assume that it's a one megapixel in the front. I'm not sure the specs yet. Uh, it does come with Android 2.3 gingerbread touchscreen, and uh, it's I think it's called uh, a Nova touchscreen glass, and that just basically means it's sort of like uh, iPhone iPhone 4's HD version. Uh, it's supposed to be clear, uses less battery. Uh, I, I might might get this phone, may not. Um, I want to see how people react to it, how thin it is, and stuff like that. And I'll go over the specs for that phone. Uh, but this is my last Samsung Transform Ultra uh, video. And I thank you for the support. If you have any questions, leave them on. I'll answer them as fast as I can. I'm a busy man, but again, I'll answer you as fast as I can. So this is Milton signing off. You have a nice day.